that over 500 students are still learning under trees in Baringo County. Even as the government starts rebuilding schools that were submerged in Lake Baringo, more than 21 schools had been submerged by the floods earlier in the year from Baringo and Bogoria Lakes. Daniel Karuki reports. When water levels in Lake Baringo rose to unprecedented levels, more than 21 schools were fully submerged, hence crippling the education set in Baringo County. Mm -hmm. Learners were forced to learn under trees or relocate to other schools as other pupils were forced to stay at home. Kuna wanafunzi pia wajaripotu kwa shule na wajafika kwa shule kwa sababu kuna wazazi uh, wengi wao walitawanyishwa na maji na wakahamishwa mahali singine. According to the Baringo South Director of Education George Ogeo, at least five schools are still fully submerged in floods and students hard to relocate. We are aware that the school has moved seven kilometers away. Seven kilometers away means some students are very far from where the school is now. But that should not be an excuse. They should come to school on a daily basis because for the school to perform, the children, the candidate, and everybody must be in school. Number Girls Secondary School has already received a five million boost for reconstruction Despite Ngambo Primary School, which hosts more than 400 pupils, is still yet to benefit from the same. So the school, we've lost about uh, uh, property worth about 60 million. So this school is one of the lucky ones that have been able to receive funding from government. Parents to the affected students are decrying the incident, saying the flood's destruction might shut their children's dreams. Kwa hivyo at least sasa hivi tumeanza hiyo kutembea na assistant chief na ma chief kuangalia hao wanafunzi wenyewe wako nyumbani ili tuhakikishe wamekuja kwa shule. As if that's not enough, five schools in the area have been closed due to insecurity in Baringo County. The hope to access education continues to remain crippled as more than 500 learners from the affected schools are still learning under trees. Daniel Kariuki for Switch TV News.